Hey again, it's your favorite long distance daughter. Have you ever wanted to try work away but aren't sure what to look for in a host? Here are some key things that I look for on a host page when searching for safe projects. The first thing I look through is their details. I like to read through the bios to find similar activities that I like, maybe ones that I haven't done yet, but I wanna learn. Cause even if you haven't done something, they are always looking for new people. Just reach out anyways. This platform is an opportunity to learn and most hosts really do like teaching you new skills. So after reading through their bio and making sure I would enjoy staying with them, I look for their reviews. This is probably the most important because many hosts will have ratings and reviews from previous volunteers. This is something that I always look through to make sure that people have actually stayed there and felt safe. Some reviews are honest and some volunteers and hosts don't click, which is fine, but I also like to see that. Many have poor feedback, but it is important to just read through the reviews so you can judge it for yourself. I look at the reply rate as well, which is how often they answer back to their volunteers and typically will only message hosts who have a reply rate of over 95%. I feel like it ensures that they're active and that they respond to the volunteers because I don't wanna waste my time writing out a whole message to them. They also have badges, which makes them more credible, like a Facebook verified one, a pioneer badge, rated host, super host, and even a top rated host, which means that the host has received over 10 five-star reviews. So it's good to know. I also look at their accommodation description to make sure that I'd be okay with what they're offering. Some offer you your own room and bathroom, but others might make you share. The last thing that I make sure to look at is their hours expected. This will let you know what they expect from you and give you more of an idea on how much you'll be like working. There is also so many more details that I'm not covering, like accepting pets, spaces for camper vans, and like a miscellaneous area for extra information. Make sure that you look through everything, just check it all out. But those are my top tips on what to look for. Check out Long Distance Daughters for more tips on work away and traveling abroad. Thank you.